In this video, we see a Geiger counter, which is an instrument used to detect nuclear radiation, specifically ionizing radiation. The actual detector tube is right here. It's a metal tube. Inside the tube is a thin wire going down the center, which we charge with a high voltage DC uh, electrical potential. When ionizing radiation passes through the wall of this chamber, it ionizes the molecules of gas within the chamber. That causes a brief spike of electrical current, which is conducted through this cable right here into here, and those spikes are counted. What you hear at that speaker, that clicking noise, is actually not one click per spike, but rather one click for uh, lots of uh, spikes and currents coming in. I don't know what the actual division ratio is on this particular Geiger counter, but they do that because the actual number of uh, radiation particles flying through the tube is a lot more numerous than what would be typically audible. So if you had one click for every particle, you'd just hear a buzz. So what they do is they divide that number of clicks, <clears throat> like maybe one click for every thousand particles or something like that. So right now it's measuring a combination of background radiation and what radiation we see from this source right here, which is a uh, cesium source, cesium-137. Cesium-137 is a radioactive element uh, with a uh, half-life of about 30 years and it's a beta emitter. So when a cesium atom decays, its nucleus ejects a high-speed electron. When that happens, it transmutates into an isotope of barium, which then undergoes its own radioactive decay into a more stable state of barium by emitting a gamma ray, which is a very penetrating electromagnetic wave, similar to an X-ray. As I place this closer and closer to the source, you can hear the frequency of the ticking increase. If I look over here, you can also see the indication, the needle bouncing. If I pull this away, you can see the inverse square law at work. As you increase the distance between the source and the detector, the radiation, which of course is spreading out in all directions, <coughs> uh, impacts the detector less often. It's like being close to a spray paint can that's spraying out bits of paint. The further you are away from that spray paint can, the fewer particles of paint are going to hit you. Same thing here. The inverse square law applies to all forms of radiation that are emanated in a uh, spherical pattern, a three-dimensional pattern. When you get away from it like this, uh, you suffer a reduction that is proportional to the square of the change in distance. So if I double my distance, I have four times less radiation flux. If I triple my distance, nine times less radiation flux. So this little source right here is included with the Geiger counter as a means of testing and calibration to make sure this is working properly. Now this is a fairly old source. It's at least a decade old. And with a half-life of 30 years, the, uh, a lot of the activity of the um, cesium-137 has decayed. But it is still useful for a quick uh, qualitative demonstration test like this.